I don't know what I'm doing back here, friends, but we're going to the Goodwill Outlet. Hello, if you are new here, my name is Nikki. I have not been having a great time going to the Goodwill Outlets lately. The last time I went in Salt Lake City, I had an altercation with a man. Uh, we're back in LA though, we're back home, so we'll see how this goes. I don't wanna stay here long. It looks very crowded, number one. Number two, it's a sunny Sunday in March. It's like 70 degrees and it's March, so I wanna go hang out with my baby. My mom and my son are at a park nearby. So I don't know how long I'll last. I always say that, you guys, and then I end up staying here for at least like two to four hours. Definitely not staying that long. Um, but if I make it two hours, I'll be happy. All right, let's hope for no fights, no drama. People stay away from me. Don't touch me. Let's go. <laughs> All right, friends. First, I hit a shoe bin, and I found these sandals. And I did find some comps, and they looked actually pretty good. But I don't know if you can tell on camera. These would probably need a decent amount of cleaning. And while I do love selling shoes, I'm not the best at cleaning them yet. Still learning. So I don't think I ended up uh, picking these up. And I probably should have. So if you ever see this brand, MBT, be on the lookout below, friends, um, and check comps for the specific style. So I moved on. Usually I'll spend a bunch of time in the shoe bin, but as you can see here, I did not get a shopping cart. This was a very busy day, as I mentioned in the intro. So all I had was a trash bag that I found in one of the bins. So I really didn't want to be lugging around a bunch of heavy shoes. So I moved on to the clothing pretty quickly and I didn't end up getting a shopping cart at all. Usually when that happens, you guys, I already know I'm not going to last very long, uh, but we'll talk. I give some tips and thoughts on that at the end of the video. So stick around uh, because we'll go back to the car and I'll talk to you about all that stuff. I do have a Goodwill outlet bins kind of like tips and tricks video if you're interested in that I will link it down below I think it's very helpful especially for people who don't go often um, just to give you like an overall picture of what it's like what you should do how long you should stay things you should take stuff like that so this was a very good bread and butter day for me you guys um, I'm gonna do a huge Goodwill outlet haul from the last three trips to the Goodwill outlet, so make sure you subscribe for that. I'm gonna keep asking you guys to subscribe because we're just so close to 10,000 subscribers. I was thinking of picking up this jacket, but suit jackets just sit so long for me, you guys. I wanna say like five or six years ago, I used to have a better sell-through rate with those, but now I could literally buy a suit jacket and it would sit in my eBay store because that's where they usually sell for years before it sells. I thought that that hat was cashmere. Acrylic will get you sometimes because it feels so soft that you almost think it's cashmere, but alas, friends, it is not. I pick up almost all of the cashmere and silk I find at the bins. I put in a lot. I sell it on eBay. I put crafters lot in the title and I make great money doing that. I'm currently working on uh, doing a lot of, this is probably one of the biggest lots I've sold, of 50 cashmere and silk damaged shirts and pants. And I'm probably going to start it out at 100 bucks. I don't even know. I feel like I could probably price it more. But definitely, if you can find stuff, I'm talking about if it's stained, it has holes, any of that stuff, if you can get it at the bins, put it together. Um, I might actually start it out at like 120 150 because I just recently sold a lot of, I think it was 10 to 15 items for $55. So definitely money to be made there, friends. Okay, so this day, the employees were packing these bins very high with clothing, so it was a little more time consuming to go through the bins, especially when you're using one hand. Gap Kids, I almost never pick up. Um, I don't even really sell Gap. I can't remember, you guys, the last time I have sold a Gap piece, so let alone Gap Kids, but I thought that this was in really good condition and really cute. I could send it to ThreadUp, but ThreadUp really doesn't price their kids' clothing very high, so I passed on that. Aerosols, I don't, I'm trying to think if I've ever sold aerosols. I was hoping to find this other naturalizer shoe, but I don't think I was able to find it, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll put those, oh, it's right there. <laughs> you guys. 
That's hilarious. I, I'm currently filming this voiceover part two weeks after this video, so I guess I'm struggling to remember what I did find and didn't find. We'll find out together. Clearly this was all from the same person though, I remember that, because they're all like in the same size range, they're all really close together. So, oh, okay, well there we go. I did end up picking up the natural, because I was going to say, if I would have found the other shoe, I definitely would have picked those up. Um, I don't find that brand often at the bins, but I do find it quite a bit at um, the traditional thrift stores. And I think Muggy Best was the one, the reseller who recently mentioned how she sells that brand for good ASP. So that was serendipitous that I found those. What is this that I'm looking at? Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, I used to love selling the more unique Tommy Hilfiger sweaters, dresses, uh, used to sell them on eBay all the time, and once again, it's just another brand that just doesn't move very fast for me. Sometimes if I find a unique piece, though, I will send it to ThreadUp. Wait, I thought I did pick up the Naturalizer shoes. I did, you guys. I remember now. But um, because I have that trash bag, I was really holding out and putting stuff in my cart, in my bag, I should say. But you have to be careful with that because people will literally walk up right next to you and take stuff that's literally, you could have your hand on it and someone will take it. So that's why you see I have it like right in front of me. The bins can be wild, but today actually wasn't too bad. Um, this is a Roxy. I thought it was a swimsuit, but I honestly think it's just a bodysuit. And it had that, and I was just grossed out. I was literally like, I squealed a little bit, you guys. I probably shouldn't even have shown you that. But like I said, I filmed this two weeks ago, so I'm forgetting what I even filmed. Why am I still touching this? I think I was actually considering washing it and buying it. <laughs> I am a mess, friends. That reminds me of the period panties I got in my thread up box. And I was like, oh, thank God they're new with tags. You guys all thought that was hilarious. Why would I say that? Like, why would ThreadUp send me used period panties? What else could they be but new with tags, Nikki? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Lucky Brand. Oh, man, I just don't have the best luck with Lucky Brand unless it's jeans. Um, jeans, if I look up the style and I can find comps for the exact style that I have, I will pick up, but I decided to pass on that because it's white, it's basic, and I feel like every time I buy something white at the bins, it might look fine in the bins yellow lighting, but then when I get home, nay nay. Tommy Bahama, silk, I think it was half silk, half cotton. I threw that, but I actually did end up picking it up because I'm going to probably put that in my lot, but I try to only put stuff in lots, you know, with the cashmere silk lot that I mentioned before that are 100% silk or 100% cashmere. So we'll see what I do with that. Honestly, you guys, I feel like this Goodwill outlet haul is going to be a surprise to both of us because a lot of these hauls, these trips I filmed two, three weeks ago. So it'll be a surprise to both of us of what I got. I still like selling guests, uh, but a more unique piece. I love selling guest dresses and coats, especially if I can find something more recent. They do really well. I did pick up this Airy New with Tags top. You can see it retailed. I think it said 45 or 49 bucks. So in the trash bag that goes. And this was my first time going to the bins in my Converse. I actually bought those. I had never owned a pair of Converse before. You guys know I'm a total heels girl, but I bought them for Zane's birthday party and they're actually pretty comfortable. Um, I think I might wear them more often for like casual situations. I'll link the ones I got below. I found them super affordable. I think these were like under 40 bucks. I don't even know. They might be under 30. I'm so late to the game, you guys, but it's nice. It's, this is how dusty the bins are. Look at how dirty my pants got. It's nice to have a comfortable option uh, for shoes that aren't just sneakers. So I'm thoroughly enjoying those. Found these heels, these Enzos. Looks like Goodwill was charging $9.99. I remember thinking I'm not going to pick these up because the style just looks really old. But you know what? I should have picked those up and just put Y2K in the title. That was a miss on my part. Thought of getting this for Zane, Mommy's All-Star. Okay, apparently I did get it. I was going to say I didn't, but apparently I did. As I said, we're finding out what happened on this day together. <laughs> I'm reliving it all over again. Uh, you guys know I like selling Victoria's Secret's pink uh, um, 
but it needs to say pink like everywhere and I couldn't find the other slipper. Uh, Carter's, this is a size eight. That looks like it's in great condition. I don't even really pick up Carter's to send to thread up you guys because I probably would have just made like two bucks on that. So I pass on a lot of Carter's, but I will pick it up for Zane. Are these the Ralph Lauren pants? Oh, I did pick these up. They're a size, these are so adorable. I think it said a size three. I'll either sell those myself on eBay or send them to ThreadUp because the higher end brands in kids clothing can actually do pretty well on ThreadUp. Those are just leggings though, so I might just sell those myself. But anytime I find like um, a nicer kids brand that's sold at like Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, I always pick it up and either sell it on eBay or Poshmark or send it to ThreadUp. This bin was interesting because usually this location does a really good job about separating hard goods and books from clothing, but you can see, I don't know if people just move stuff around. This bin had books, it had clothing, it has a mirror in it. I mean, it just had everything going on. I'm really proud of myself. On this day, I actually filmed quite a bit in the store. I picked up this shirt just to put in my lot of cashmere and silk stuff. Um, it's actually in good condition. I don't see any damage on it right now, but I'll just make, I'll sell it faster, just putting it in that lot. Those lots, you guys, when I list them, always sell within a week. Uh, so definitely don't, you know, try it out. See if it works for you. If you find a bunch of cashmere and silk like I do. I just thought this was a cute top. I won't buy Shein new because they're a fast fashion brand and they're one of the most horrible polluters. I mean, the whole fashion industry is, but... Um, very affordable stuff. I won't buy it new, but I will try to save it from the bins if I can, maybe if I'll wear it myself. I used to love reselling it. It wouldn't sell for a ton, but a lot of people, it, it has a following. And a lot of people will pay a couple bucks for their stuff used. Not a lot, just fair warning. I mean, that red shirt I just showed you, probably brand new was like 10 bucks or less. So you can imagine, you're probably not gonna sell it for that much, so but I will pick it up for myself. Um, I did scan the books, but I don't show you guys that because I feel like you guys don't want to just see me scanning books. I did end up finding a couple of books to sell on Amazon. I do want to test out selling used books on eBay. I have not sold books on eBay in many, many years. And uh, I was watching Thrift of Life and he was talking about how he likes selling books on eBay because you can be more descriptive, uh, you can show more photos, and there's a market out there for it. So let me know if you sell books on eBay and what your experience has been with that because you guys know I love selling in as many categories as possible. That Zara little bikini bottom, you can see that was damaged. It was just, there was just so much clothing in these bins. Uh, this location doesn't usually do that, so... It was a little tougher just to get through all of these things, but I made it through, friends. I ended up staying for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. I used to pick up Adidas all the time. I've just noticed, especially the women's stuff is not selling as fast for me. The men's stuff's still doing okay, but you can see, I don't know if you can tell, those were really stained. There was a tiny, tiny hole, so I passed on those, but I love picking up active wear from the bins. I just left this footage in because I usually cut it out, but you guys said you wanted to see like real time what the reality is of going through a bin and this is what it is. American Eagle Outfitters. I will usually, you guys, only pick it up at the bins and probably send it to thread up. It does not sell a ton for me. I'm lucky for any American out outfeeder, <laughs> outfeeder, Outfitters piece if I can get 20 bucks. Like that's a great sell for them. So I usually just don't even pick it up anymore, you guys. I used to do pretty well selling that stuff, but it's just become so flooded on the market that a lot of times, even if it's at the bins, I will pass. What do we have here? I was trying to look and see if this was anything like Lulu or anything. I usually find at least one Lulu piece at this location every time I come. Um, New York and Company. You guys remember New York and Company? I used to love shopping there. And I, do they still have brick and mortar stores? They must because I don't know. I find it so often when I thrift, but that's a Zara piece I passed on. Don't pick up a ton of Zara anymore unless it's a current piece, which I don't usually find at the bins. 
I was looking at this dress. What brand makes this dress? I was looking for stains, don't see any stains. It's hard to find the brand tag when you're filming and doing this one-handed. I guess I gave up, moving on. Sometimes I'll do that if I'm filming. If I wasn't filming, I wouldn't have done that. Who, what, where, size two, target, pass on that. Don't pick that up a ton. Sometimes I'll pick it up more so on dollar day because I find more recent pieces that way, but didn't pick that up. Uh, what is this? Oh, it doesn't matter. I kept on moving. The green shorts. Who makes these? Short season is here, friends. If you can find shorts, it's a good time to pick them up because people are shopping for them. I've already sold so many shorts and bikinis in these last two weeks, so... If I find some that are in decent condition and I just need to get some product, I will pick them up. All right, friends, I can't believe it, but I actually got out of there in under two hours. I was in there for like an hour, like five minutes or something. I just realized the price went up. Price is going up everywhere for everything. Um, when I first started shopping here years ago, it was under $2 a pound. It was like $1.80 or $1.99. Then it went up and up. The last time I came here, which was what? The last time I came here, I filmed here. So like a month or two ago, it was two twenty nine, dollars and I'm just realizing I paid two fifty nine. dollars So FYI, the LA Goodwill Outlet is now two fifty nine dollars a pound. Um, I got 14 pounds and I paid $36.52. That was not bad, actually. Uh, people were really close to me, but I'm just so jaded at this point, and I'm kind of tired, as you can, I think you guys can kind of tell. I only slept for like four hours last night. Uh, we're watching The Sopranos. We got HBO Max, and neither of us have ever seen it, so we've been, we like binge watched, I don't know, like four episodes of The Sopranos last night. It started out slow. If you're looking for something to watch, you've never seen it. We started season, we're still on, we just finished season one last night. But it does get better. I like it. At first, like the first four episodes, I was like, I'm not going to be able to watch this. Why do so many people like it? But now I like it. I, we watched the first episode of Euphoria. My boyfriend has tapped out. He's like, it's glorifying too much stuff that I don't want glorified for our kids. Which I totally understand. It's a wild show. It's basically about a high school kids that are just freaking wild sex drugs it is not family friendly um but i find it interesting i actually like the writing um so i'm gonna keep watching that how did i get there goodwill outlet let's circle back if you're new around here and you're still sticking with me make sure you subscribe because i just go off on tangents but i promise you i will come back to my point People were kind of close and stuff. I didn't get in any arguments, no drama. People were actually nice. Like I was dragging the trash bag around that you guys saw. It's literally right here in the passenger seat. And a guy was like, oh, do you need help with that? Do you want me to help? I was like, oh, wow, thanks, no thanks. A couple bros came in. You guys know what I mean when I say bros. They were literally like, bro, bro, bro. And they were like asking the employees if they could go in the back and check out some bins before it came out. I was like, this is their first time here. This is their first rodeo. And the, the employee looked at them like, are you crazy? Get out of here. Um, it was very packed. And it's just a nice day. I, want, I don't know. You really have to be in the mindset to go to the bins and stay for like four, out, four plus hours. I think the longest I've ever made it was like five and a half, almost six hours. One time in like the six years I've been coming here. How long have I been coming here? It's like five to six years. Uh, usually I average like two to four hours. But if you're not in the right mindset, if you're not like... I didn't get a car as I'm sure I mentioned. So right off the bat, if I don't get a car, I know I'm not going to stay long. You can't put your name on a list and they'll call you as they come become available. And a lot of people were actually checking out when I checked out. So if I were in the right mindset to stay longer, I could have gotten a cart, but I knew I didn't want to stay long. It's super nice out. I want to go hang out with my mom and Zane. Um, so I'm just grateful I lasted as long as I you guys did. enjoyed. I will see you soon.